So I'm super excited to share this with you today. I'm also a little bit nervous because the Wi-Fi here is a little bit spotty. So um, this is the joy of the live demo, right? So let's, let's, let's go ahead and start it without further ado. Those of you who may not be familiar with the Health app, I'm not gonna go into detail, but this already exists on your phone um, if you have an iOS device. And it, it's a, it, it has the ability to track um, and to record all the health information securely on your device. What we've done is add the ability for consumers to connect to their health system directly. And that's through this health records functionality right here. This is part of the iOS 11.3 beta program right now. So if you look at your phone and you don't see it there, that's why. If you would like to participate and use this today, you can do that. Just go to beta.apple.com and enroll there and you'll be able to test this out uh, when you go home tonight or during dinner or whenever else you want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> it's a good sign. It loaded right away. So right here, we, we, we announced this in January with 12 health systems. We now have uh, over twice that uh, listed here. And this list is, is growing quickly. And the, the feedback that we've gotten um, since we announced this has been phenomenal. People are really excited to be a part of this because they want to empower consumers with their health information. So as part of this list, you can search for your health system. And consumers might not always know the brand name of the health system they went to. They might just remember the location. Um, so for example, if I search here um, for um, San Bernardino, um, I can find a location that was in San Bernardino or is called St. Bernardine Medical Center and I can choose that if I don't remember that it's a Dignity Health System, for example. And we really want to make it easy for consumers to find their health system, no matter how uh, they want to do that. So right now I'm going to tap on uh, Dignity Health System right here. And this is a health system that uses the Cerner EHR. and I will log in. So I am showing you my actual data right now. Full, full disclosure, full transparency. And I'm gonna authorize this. And so right now, um, the data uh, is, so there's a direct connection. You can see it's already downloaded. A direct connection was made from, from my phone to Dignity's health system. This did not transit any Apple infrastructure in between. So it's a direct, encrypted, private connection directly to the health system, and the data is downloaded securely to my device only. It doesn't go anywhere else unless I, unless I tell it to. So when I tap on the health app now, you'll see it's downloaded a number of, of, uh, of health records. Um, but there's more. So I have actually have, uh, have had visits at other health systems. So I'm going to add a couple more to show you that. There we go. So I'm going to go to UNC. So UNC is a health system um, that uses the EPIC EHR. Nice face ID too, Ricky. I like it. Very Thank nice. you. It's good. All right, so now I have UNC added, and it's just downloaded those records. And so now I'm gonna add one more. Is that gonna be Duke, Ricky? Would you like it to be? I, I'd love it to be Duke, because they played a basketball game recently, and they don't like each other. Duke and North Carolina aren't really big fans of each other. So they, don't, they may not share data today. I don't know if they do or not, but they certainly don't like each other in basketball, right? It was a good game on Saturday. It was a good game. That's, game. Well, you know, the Duke crowd says that they <laughs> that was a great game, right? That's good. All right. So now I'm signing into, into Duke. So you're telling me at a touch of a button you can get actual rival information downloaded to your phone? Two competing health systems in the same market you can actually download with a touch of a button. Is that true? So now I have Ryan giving my presentation for me. <laughs> That's I have amazing. A, I have a backseat presenter. This is great. So as, as Ryan was, was pointing out, if we could just pause here for a second and, and just think about what happened. So we now have multiple health systems 
from, from different major EHR systems coexisting peacefully and interoperating here on this personal health record. And not only do we have two major EHR systems working together, but we have Duke and UNC working together, which may be more impressive depending on your perspective. So what does this mean? So I now have all my data securely on my device, and I can view the data. Um, so you can see I have an albuterol inhaler there, and this is a longitudinal view of the data uh, based on time. It has all the information from all of these health systems um, captured together. I can also search, so if I want to pull up uh, cholesterol, for example, I can do that and see just the cholesterol values. You can see for the labs, uh, we do graph those when we receive the reference range from the health system. We can't guess what the reference range is. We need to know that information. Uh, and if I tap on um, one of these, um, LDL, for example, you can see a detailed view, gives you more information about that, uh, about that lab. Um, this particular lab happened to include a note along with the lab that we're displaying here. Um, and we have some other helpful information. And then at the bottom, I can actually tap on this and show you the source fire data. So we are um, obviously using fire for this. We require that health systems participate in and, and implement the Argonaut implementation guide of fire. And we don't think many consumers will want to access this raw information. But the reason we include it there uh, is because we feel very strongly that we need to be completely transparent with the information that's on the user's phone so they can see everything that's on the device. And so this is part of our philosophy that, that, uh, that permeates everything that we do with, within health is that we want it to be completely transparent. So to search for another uh, data type here, you can see if I search for uh, BUN, um, there's one value here that's slightly out of range, and you can see what that looks like. You can also see that there are two values here from two different health systems, both from Dignity as well as UNC. You can see that the reference ranges are actually different for each one, which is, which is very common uh, to see that. But here are the values. You can see the title is the same. Otherwise, you can view the data together uh, very simply. And so that's the case with all of these different data types. In addition to having the all records view, you can view the data one category at a time. So if I wanted to view just the labs, for example, I can do that. And I can show all the labs here. Quite a few um, labs uh, that are there. Um, same thing with um, medications, for example. Conditions, vital signs. It's all there, and you can see that it's also color-coded based on data type to make it really easy to identify one data type versus the other. And, and that's really it. The other point that I wanted to make is that there's a persistent, enduring connection that's created between your app and these health systems. While that sounds fairly simple, it completely changes how someone might use and access their, their, their health information. The current state is that in order to access your information, you need to log on to every portal that you want to access, and each time you need to do that. And now, when there's new information from these portals, it will be pulled automatically uh, from those health systems, and you'll get a notification that you have new information available. And even if you don't have an internet connection later, an internet connection, you will still have access to your information on your phone. Completely changes how you use and access your health information. You always have it with you, and you have it when you need it. So we're super excited about this. Um, this is also a first step. We think it's important to engage the ecosystem, and we're very excited uh, about the response that we've gotten and to see other EHR vendors, other health systems come on board with a standards-based approach supporting the Argonaut implementation guide. And we're also very interested in, in, in doing a lot more. And because of that, we are having a um, sh sh shameless plug. Tomorrow at the recruiting fair, we will have a booth if you're interested in learning more about what we do and possibly exploring job opportunities there. Feel free to stop by. We have some other engineers in the audience uh, from our team as well. And uh, we'd be happy to chat with you. Thank you.